I've modified my float tube setup. I cut the platform down a little and I did this because I don't always use a trolling motor which I would typically have mounted right here. So this with this one it still has all of the functionality but with this one this is just self propelled with the flippers. But as you can see it's still extremely efficient. I have plenty of storage with that has two different boxes in it, two different tackle boxes. In this storage section here, I use for drinks and food. And then as you can see, I've mounted two rod holders while fishing, but I can also store three rods here or a couple of rods and a net. I downsized my fish finder simply because I had a 10 inch on here and it was overkill. I have 10 inches on my boat. And I figured for this one, all I ne really needed to see was structure and bait fish. And with this Piranha 4, it lets me see everything I need to see. Um, I also modified the way I mount my transducer. I basically 3D printed this little arm here, which also moves around if I needed to. And I can also adjust this knob to move my transducer up and down if needed. Typically it's not needed. One depth is all you need for a transducer. So this is an extremely efficient way to fish, especially if you're crappie fishing because you can spider rig. You can set out two rods to troll and hold one rod in your hand. And you can also add as many of these little $3 um, rod holders from Walmart. You can add up to six of them on here if you wanted to and spider rig so it's an extremely efficient way to fish and if bass fishing of course you know you just remove a couple of the rods and then you can cast that wheel and then you have to have the shade i've seen a lot of people putting canopies on and stuff like that but i much prefer to just go with an umbrella why because with this umbrella i can move it around it bends. It'll bend any direction that I want it to, and it will stay in that direction as long, you know, <laughs> as long as the wind is not blowing too hard. And typically, if the wind is blowing really hard, you just go for a good ride. But you all, this is the Cumberland float tube. Um, it's rated for holding up to 300 pounds, um, and it's, it's just extremely efficient. And I don't know if I showed you right here my anchoring system. So if I find a good brush pile I want to sit on, I can just drop anchor and it's just as simple as turning this knob and the anchor drops. And when I'm ready, I just reel it up. Extremely simple, extremely efficient. And of course, I have extra storage with these bullet boxes. As you can see, I have slap sauce and crappie nuggets and things like that in there. And then in the other one, I just have my lithium battery to keep me powered up all day long so you all thanks for watching this video this is just another quick you know viewing of my float tube